Oh yeah, lots of violence. Just the tongue, scrap the floor. Official content, strong language, please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Interesting. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything, you're not a fighter, to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive, and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. So, we're going to do new save data. I've already played maybe an hour or two of this game, but since I did Outlast 2 uh, video, I'm going to start doing a Outlast video and Outlast Whistleblower video as well. So, I'm just going to start over. None of the Outlast 2 video didn't have any commentary because I'm a little shy, but we'll give it a shot. Changing weather patterns were to blame for livestock behavior. Encourage ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend seminar on Beulah Avenue in Pueblo. And if you're out late tonight, you may see some low flying helicopters near Silverthorne and Leadville. See a helicopter? Seems the Arapaho Park Services will be spraying for an infestation of box elder bugs. But do keep all pets and children indoors between the hours. Excuse me, sir. Hello. Hello. Come over to you then. September 17, 2013. Subject TIP or TIP. Illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. How to make this quick? <clears throat> they might be monitoring. A two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I'm very much breaking down, breaking right now, but I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happen there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. Needs to be exposed. Alright, got my lithiums, got my consumer cam. Alright. And take one. Alright, let's get out of the car. Do this thing. Let's pick up documents. Right, what's in here? Nope, I go in there. Nope. All right, got some coyotes and some lightning going on. All right. Where's your camera? Vehicles here. What's going on? Mountain massive. That's fine. Nope. Side gate maybe. He's getting in shape, man. Sounds awful. 
Oh, here we go. I'll be getting up there at some point, huh? Window open, some scaffolding. All right. Nope. Locked. No. Oh, I guess I'm getting up there now, huh? Been a while since I played this first part, so I'm trying to remember what to do. Over here. Hey now. Hey now. Didn't see that. Mm -hmm. All right. Some files. Let's see what we got. Notes. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Now, massive asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. <clears throat> the Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Sons of bitches. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place is to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Yeah. Let's get rid of them. Alright. Project Wall Rider Patient Status Report for William Hope. Patient Billy, consult dated 2012, mission age 19, male, observing physician Dr. Carl Houston, therapy status. Patient claims to be claims to have progressed self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continue stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry. Spirometry. Revealed no bronchial accu accumulation. Hematocrit. Centrifuge. Again, failed to separate. Erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MR revealed arrhythmic. REM, NREM cycle, laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Smirkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic, catastrophic breach in security despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note the only Traeger owned company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All, order li all orderlies and security personnel must be questioned in video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Sector Systems Project Well Wall Rider? Wall Rider? Mount Massive Co. Alright. Wall Rider? Let's say Wall Rider. Hey, alright. I wasn't gonna bother you in there anyway. Do your thing. The you know like
but uh, you had to run in there quickly, huh? Locked as well. So, all right. I'm gonna crawl in some blood. Back here. Nope. Spider web. Get out of here. More spider webs. Get out of here. Not you. Not again. Guys, I'm recording all this. I'm taking it to the paper. <laughs> they killed us. They caught out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. And run. And unlock the main doors for security control. They don't do that. Go here. Right, let's check these down here first. Right down there. Hmm. I can't be comfortable. All right. Squeezed in the shitter. I need help. And who are you then? Oh, you know. I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. That. Sorry, officer. Corporation, United States Warrant for Seizure, case number 29475-8104. The matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road, 112. Affidavit. 
having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, MHS, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied with the affirmatives, with the affidavits, and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions, regardless of responsibility. <laughs> Somebody didn't like that. Downstairs, okay. Go down here first. Oh boy. Hey man, chill out. Door didn't do nothing to you. Batter over there. Ooh. Yeah. See? It's up to you. Check my camera in the screen. Notes. I'm inside. Okay. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bodies. Bottles behind the bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's lifetime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. Damn right. How did Murkoff think that they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. That's very true. The witness. That was a little guy on the toilet. I'm already beat all to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp. A couple cracked ribs, nearly killed. By a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up in some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a hot homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. I agree on that as well. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. Alright. So. Not gonna go downstairs just yet. See what's down here. Security office. Need a key card, I'll have that soon. Alright. See that weird dude in here, huh? We didn't choose this. Well, why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're still people. We didn't choose this. I didn't choose this either. The local news guy, man. Project Wall Rider Profitability Report. From Helen Grant, subject Project Wall Rider on site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending no immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost be certainly, almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the 
morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing warped models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven insufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Granat. Granat. Markoff Legal Mitigation Department. Batteries, fellas. Batteries. No. Here we go. Can I get in there? Hmm. Maybe I don't need to get here yet. Let's see. Can I go down this way already? Three gaps around the battery. Feeding these people here is not good. Ah. Can I see it? Huh? Excuse me, sir. So, oh, he's alive. Hi there. Bye now. What are you guys watching? Get out of that. I'm sure, I missed something. Oh, wait, duck it. Project Wall Rider Patient Status Report for Chris Walker. Across psychiatric, psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider, blah blah blah. Patient's initials CLW Walker, 32, male, observing physician, Waldorf, Rink, Wernick. Therapy status, morphogenic engine activity, plateaued, 
at roughly 2,000 ppm, unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Sp sp how do I say that? Spirometry. Spirit. Spirometry. Spirometry. There we go. Revealed light to medium bronchitis accumulation. The MRI scans consistent with patient's report. Reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints. Following his self-inflicted mutilations, restraints had had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Since its dermal eruptions are consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity, he claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way to seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experiences with Tatara lizards <clears throat> and their uh, and their eyes. Have, have had, he has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose, attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. Mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression <clears throat> of the ME process. I don't know if you can say that word anymore. Tisk tisk. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. The continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. The, the, the fucker that threw me down the stairs. I don't waste the batteries back there. Can I get any of these rooms? No, that's barred off. No, that's closed. Elevator? There, yeah, oh, a little bit. Oh! Sweet. Was he going to get the elevator or? Hey, buddy. That was a long way down. So close. Alright. I'm going to interrupt the TV show again. Take that, sir. Thank you. Apologies. Nothing else. General documents, notes. Broken men and a dead television. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Alright. Get up.
No, thank you. Oh, yeah. There's that one room that did need a key card. Security office. Oh no. Get in there. Hey, big fella. Ultra, CIA, hypnotic homicide. In Cultura program, CIA document number um, on Wednesday, 10th, February 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. 1. A post-hypnotic -hyp post See that right? Post hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use any method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic, hypnotic sleep, and failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. 2. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun which she refused, in an awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. I'll take that. Thank you. <clears throat> Well, I am, sir. 
I am terrified of dying. I would not like to die. Thank you. I see it. Let's take care of this room here first. Anything up here? Yes. Give me that. Thank you. Control panel. Okay. Yep, that's me. Go in there, buddy. Hide, hide, hide. You knock that door down. Damn. Hey. You're damn right, you don't see me. I can't hear if you left or not.
ton of batteries here. And we have lift off. Oh boy, there is. You did it anyway. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. The only How am I going to run to that? place is the truth. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. So that's probably going to be the end today. Um, let's wake up real quick, and then we'll we'll pause it and we'll play again in that, another day. This is five on it looks like. No bueno. Well, guys, until next time, this is Joey from Superhouse Podcast. Uh, I'll have links in the description. So have a good one.